Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Here we are, back with our adorable little pet cucko. I will love you forever and ever and ever. And stuff. Yay. And somehow it's it's uh mad it's mad flapping allows you to glide. Yeah. Yeah. No, I must not let my pet cucko escape. No my baby. No what the heck? Did it seriously oh shut up. Did it seriously just fly up the waterfall and random oh crap. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Ow. Oh, well. Sob, sob. My my coco. It's gone forever. Ah. Well it's not like I would bring it into Zora's domain with me anyway, so <laughs> stuff. Speaking of Zora's Domain... Whoops. Bit too rushed, it seems. <laughs> Much as I hate to listen to what Kapora Gabora says, I do have to, um... I do have to play the song in order to get in. And this is probably one of the niftiest areas ever. Hmm. With its annoying self-turning camera. And its annoying fat king dude. He doesn't do anything useful until we get stuff, so... Speaking of getting stuff... Diving game. 20 rupees. Wanna play? Stuff. Basically, I just go down there and pick up all the rupees. Not that hard. They give, they give you a lot of time anyway, so... There we go. And stuff. And we actually, and actually we do have to do this, so. Stuff. And things. And thing stuffs. And stuff things. Teehee. Congratulations, I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Oh, really now? Yeah, really. Stuff. Hearts! Deku sticks! Pots! Deku nuts! Yay! Smashing pottery! Everyone should do it! Hello, Fat King Dude! King Zora! What's weird is that he, he bears no resemblance to any of the other Zoras at all, so I have no idea how he. Still like Zora, King Dude. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper. I have no clue how having a random scale and a blue orb has anything to do with being able to dive deeper, but whatever. And that was interesting. At least I didn't whack against the rock as I have done in the past, because that hurts. Near in. There we go. And this is a secret shortcut to a place of things and stuff things. And why Navi is saying to watch out for a bottle is completely beyond me. You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C to use it. What? Something's already inside. OMG. OMFG. Whoa. Radical man. we can actually get King Zora to do something uh, vaguely more useful than sitting there and, pa and panicking about his daughter. First, let her in a bottle. Oops, 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. It's always good to have saves. So, you can read it, actually. Huh? Looks like there's is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Rudo. P.S. Don't tell my father! Well, guess what? We're gonna tell our father anyway! Woohoo! We're such horrible people. Indeed. We. We. Okay. Bottle. Oh, this letter! It's from Princess Ruto! Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible! Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto! But since that stranger, Gandorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. Wait, what? 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 Why are you volunteering me for stuff that I don't want to do? Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora! Okay, I don't know what that Zora thing was for. But now we have several s several minutes in which he just does this. So I'm going to use the magical F4 button to speed up the FPS. Um, kind of like turbo mode in, in some other emulators and stuff. But before we go through, we actually have to do something. I don't know why I'm taking the long way around like this, but whatever. Whoa, that was interesting. The Zora dude popped out just just the moment that I fell in. Whoops. You're a fish. I catch a fish. Yummy. It's deliciously fresh. Ew. But it's raw. It's not even sushi. How can you say it's delicious? to quote Go Gollum thinking about that thing about the fish, but I won't. Because I suck at Gollum's voice. And now it's time to see Giant Fishy of Doom. See? I was right. Giant Fishy. And actually, Jabu Jabu, I think he's something like the TARDIS. Um, for those of you who know Doctor Who, because he is, well, he looks big now, but compared to the somehow having a dungeon inside of him, he's way bigger inside than he is outside, it seems. So, thus, he is the TARDIS. And he's a giant vacuum cleaner, apparently. That's how he cleans his area. He sucks in all the fish and random, uh, heroes who happen to be wandering around. I actually do kind of like this dungeon, despite the fact that, uh, it's annoying and filled with Octoroks. It's not that bad, and I hate Octoroks with a passion. And bubbles that are not called bubbles for whatever reason. You want to know something stupid? The things that are called bubbles are skulls, which makes zero sense. In any case, um, we're starting to really run short on time, so I'm going to kill this thing with a Deku stick, because if you hit it with your sword, you die. Well, not die, but you get electrocuted. You get my drift. And, um, I am going to sign off. See you later, guys, and thanks for watching.